Yo, what's up everyone? Today I'm just going to be talking about Ghostbusters Frozen Empire and my first thoughts on it. I did see the trailer like when it first came out, but I really just wanted to watch it another three or four times just to really get my thoughts on it. And overall, I think it looks really cool. I think it has a lot of potential, especially after Ghostbusters Afterlife. I really trust Jason Reitman with the fate of the story. The Ghostbusters are back in New York, where they belong, which is really good. It was cool seeing them where I'm from, but it was also a little weird. It wasn't bad, don't get me wrong, it was really cool, but it was just like a little off-putting for me. Anyways, I'm sidetracking back to Frozen Empire. It's really cool seeing Paul Rudd and, uh, what's his name, Patton Oswalt get to be a Ghostbuster. I don't know if he's gonna be donning any uniforms, but seeing him join the nerdy type of characters really does suit him, so like... I think it's pretty cool. So far, Jason Reitman's done a really, really good job at pleasing, like, the nostalgia for the fans, but also bringing in something new. And that's one thing I really like about the current generation of Ghostbusters, is they're trying to please old generations while also trying to move them on to a newer cast. And that's one thing I think this movie's gonna do. I think it's gonna bring in old cast, like, uh, Peter Venkman, all of them, and it's gonna have them training the new guys into being better Ghostbusters that are helping them get through this catastrophic Frozen Empire event. Overall, it is really cool. Um, I do think there is room to go wrong with it. I'm hoping, I'm just really, really hoping that Jason Reitman does a good job. He did an amazing job with the last one, so I don't think he's gonna mess this one up. Overall, though, I do think it's gonna be a good movie. I can't really say just from the trailer, but it looks like it's going to be pretty cool. The thing I loved about Afterlife was it was pretty much a goodbye to Harold Ramis. It was pretty much just saying goodbye for the cast, the fans, everybody. And what I like about what this one is going to do is it's going to move us on to the newer generation of cast, which is really exciting. Because I think McKenna Grace and Finn Wolfhard do amazing jobs at their acting positions. They actually do look like Spanglers, which is really weird. But overall, yeah, I'm pretty excited about the movie. Yeah, that's pretty much it. See ya.